In this video, we will learn about tokens in Python with examples. Let's start. Python tokens are mainly individual units in the program. It includes your keywords, identifiers and literals. Let's see them one by one. Firstly, keywords. Keywords are basically reserved words in programming languages and the same goes for Python. Okay, the compiler or the interpreter knows these names already. Examples include while, if, else, break, continue. In this way, there are some other keywords. So you cannot use these keywords as variable names because they are reserved words. Okay. So here are some examples. Now you'll understand what I just said. All these are keywords, reserved words, and we cannot use them as variables. Obviously, we can use variable names except all these. Okay. Like I can create variable name with the name VAR, with the name VAL, A, B, I, J, K. Okay, X, Y, but I cannot use a variable name with for, if, from, break, import, global because, because these are reserved keywords. In the upcoming lessons, we'll be learning about all the concepts of Python and we'll be using all these keywords. Let's move further. Here are the identifiers. These are basically used for naming variables, functions or functions and arrays. Okay, so we cannot use keyword as identifier that means we cannot use uh, the following def finally del except for if while try as identifiers okay these identifiers are basically named by users just like uh, creating a variable okay so variable name i just said we can use var we can use val v l a b c i j k Okay, in this way, identifiers uh, have some rules. It should begin with a letter. Letter means from A to Z, any letter. Whether it's small caps or large caps, it can also begin with an underscore, which is followed, uh, followed by zero or more letters. Okay, for example, you can easily relate this. These are the valid identifiers. So you can use all these as variable names as well as function names, like marks, underscore marks. It can begin with an underscore. It can use letters as well as digits like here, study 987, here it is. And it can also begin with underscore or it can also include numbers, digits and these are invalid identifiers. Okay, that means an identifier cannot have a special character like I have used the following special character and hash here. With that I have also started, I have also started this with a digit which is wrong. So these are invalid identifiers. Python literals, you can define literal as as data in a variable or constant. Python is having the following uh, literal string, numeric and boolean string. You can create string using single or double quotes. If you want to create a multi-line string, you can use triple quotes. With that, we have numeric literals like, like integer, float and complex. Uh, with that, we have boolean literals. Boolean always includes two values, that is true or false. And the same goes for here. Uh, let us see some examples one by one for literals. Here is a PyCharm ID. Let us go to file, create a new project. I'll name it Python literals. Click on create. Here is our project. I'll create first program Python file. Demo presenter and here it is demo.py. Okay, let us see how we can create strings in Python quickly. Let's say I created str is equal to Amit. This is our single line string, just print it. Now let us move to str2. This is also single line string, but I'll be using single quotes in it. Now let us create multi line string. I'll use triple quotes. Here it is. Okay, here I created it. Now I'll print it. Okay. Now let us run it. Right click run. And herein you can see string 1, string 2 and string 3. Multi-line string. In this way you can work, work around strings in Python. That is string literals. Let's move further. Let us quickly see an example of integer of numeric literals literals in python 
let's say I have created val1 is equal to 10 this is our integer int I printed it now we have another value let's say I'll go for float okay I printed it float literal then I have this let's say complex I printed it again okay int literal float literal and complex literal now within that we can also add uh, let's say your uh, hexadecimal literal okay print it within that I can add octal also okay let's say 0 1 0 let's say 0 1 0 I'll print it okay you can see there a uh, python version 3.10 does not support this syntax so I need to just prefix it okay this looks fine now now I'll just uh, run it let's see here and you can see at first we printed uh, okay val1 run here and you can see we printed uh, val110 then we printed float then we printed our complex third one val3 after that we went for our hexadecimal then we went for octal okay in this way you can work around numeric literals in python let's move further now we have boolean literals boolean literals can only have two values true or false we can take a variable val1 we can check for this true and false ok this is for true and let's check it for false also ok now let us check for false also we have checked it print the value and let's see what will happen run you can see the first value is true because 1 is equal to is equal to true and the second one is false why because one is not equal to false let us see let us add another variable val3 is equal to val1 plus 5 val4 is equal to val val2 plus 5 val5 is equal to true plus 5 val6 is equal to false plus 5 now let us run now let us print all of them and we will now understand the output right click run here is the output okay at first uh, what we did 1 is equal to true yes so it printed true val2 1 is equal to is equal to false no it will print false now val3 is equal to is equal to val1 plus 5 that means val1 was true true means 1 therefore 1 plus 5 6 val 4 is equal to val 2 plus 5 that means val 2 was 0 why because this is a negative condition false condition so val 2 is false false means 0 that means 0 plus 5 or val 4 is 5 printed 5 val 5 comes here true means 1 therefore val 5 is 6 here it is and val 6 false is 0 that means 5 plus 0 5 that means you need to remember in boolean literals true is 1 and false is 0 ok in this way you can work around boolean literals in python so guys in this video we saw how we can work with the tokens in python we worked around keywords identifiers and also worked around literals in python thank you for watching the video